Good morning. How are you this morning? It's wonderful to be here with you today. My name's Linda. I'm a complex trauma consultant and it's absolutely pouring rain in beautiful Brisbane, Australia at last. So we're not baking or, you know, in the humidity, you know, the air that we wear. <laughs> so I'm really pleased about that. And a friend of mine told me in the Northern Hemisphere that the cold has receded as well and then proceeded to tell me about Groundhog's Day. So that was really interesting to learn about. Now today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a different way to look at self-care that can actually help break the cycle of not participating in self-care and we're also going to do a review of an app called Youper, that's Y-O-U-P-E-R, and it's the latest in artificial intelligence for several mental health conditions actually, anxiety, depression, panic attack, and social anxiety, and PTSD. Good morning, Angelique. And so we're going to do both things this morning, so we'll be a bit busy, but that's okay. So if you've got a, pardon me, a note paper and pen handy, just grab it so that you can write down the, your aha moments and the things that stand out for you that you want to talk to either your therapist or your mentor or your trauma coach or anyone else about. Because remember, the best way to come through recovery is in a safe relationship with somebody else. So the first thing we're going to address today is a different way of looking at self-care. Now, I actually was going through one of my assessments and I had to coach somebody and uh, it was actually one of the hardest coaching sessions and uh, because the lady had to maintain a very, you know, down demeanour. But anyhow, we got to talking about self-care and she said to me that self-care is not something that she can do. And I thought, yeah, that's how I was in the beginning too. So how can we take the concept of self-care, which is, you know, worldly, it's like, oh, I've got to go and have a bubble bath or I've got to go and, you know, do my nails or hair or take some time out for me. How can we put all the concepts of complex PTSD into self-care? And I'm going through all of these in a split second in my mind. And so I said to her, I want you to tell me something that gives you joy. So if you sitting there today were thinking about something that gives you joy in day-to-day -day life, what would it be? And is it around or does it include other people? And as she went through the thought process, she went, ah, oh, her joy is spending time with her children. And I went, wow. I said, now that's a form of self-care. And she went, I never thought of it like that. And I went, yeah, it is a form of self-care. And it's really important that we do things that fill us with joy. And that way, it actually, it's like lights up our soul, our heart and soul, and we create good memories. So our brain has a resource of a good memory. So we've used all our senses and it's all filed neatly away by the amygdala into the hippocampus. So when we go, oh, you know, think of a good memory, you go, oh, yeah, that time when I sat with my kids and created joy. Or that time I went out with a group of people and I owned a leaks here this morning and went rollerblading and had a blast, you know. It's these things that we want to tap into in order to create a bigger memory bank, but also so that we know that self-care is not just about being on our own and doing things for ourselves. It's about inviting the world in and having a good time, okay? So if you were to sit there today and say, well, how can I adapt this frame of thought into my life for self-care, what would it look like? So what 
would I do for self-care today that meant that I spent time with other people and created a memory and enjoyed ourselves. And I know for me, one of the most simplest things to do <laughs> is get one or all my kids downstairs and say, hey, you know, let's sit and have a meal together. That is, it's one of the most simplest things, but we always end up laughing and joking around and enjoying ourselves. So you can see that when we're enjoying ourselves too, it brings more oxygen into our system, okay? And we need that. We really do. It helps us get off hypo and hypervigilance as well. Okay, now the other thing I want to talk to you about today is a new app that one of the admins in my group brought to my attention. And if I can just grab the graphic for you. Now, this is the name of it. It's very different. It's called Yupa. Okay. I don't know what it stands for, but it's you. But... Uh, I didn't look up what it stood for. I just have spent the last few days in different situations using this app. Now, normally, I have a look at an app and think, yeah, okay, that'll do, and, and use it once, and that's it. But this app, I actually have used sequentially each day, plus, uh, because you can put a time where you do a check-in each day. So it's really good for our mental health. So like I said, it has different sections for anxiety, depression, panic attacks, social anxiety, and PTSD. Okay? And it does so many amazing things. But one of the things that it does, which is you know, where the artificial intelligence comes in, is it has conversations with you, intelligent conversations. So let me just grab this here for you. Okay. So it will ask how you are and you will put in um, how you're feeling, what's happening. So in the middle of the night, the other night, I woke up out of nowhere, basically. I didn't expect to wake up. And when I woke up, I realized that I was feeling anxious and I went, this is crazy. I have no idea why. So I went, oh, let's put this app to use and see if it's any good. So I went in and it literally does begin to have a conversation with you. And as it goes through the conversation with you, it breaks down each part of the conversation. And then at the bottom, it's Act not this part here, but down here, it will come up with two or three different options for you. And as you choose the one that's appropriate to you, the conversation continues and you can begin to unpack what's happening for you. And then it, for me, with complex PTSD, what it does is begin to put all the emotions that are happening into an order, which is something with complex PTSD. SD that we haven't had uh, access to since childhood, okay? So in our prefrontal cortex is where order, the ability to put everything in order comes in, but we operate out of our limbic system where it's very emotional, and so trying to learn how to put everything in order, I went, oh, this is just going to help me so much. So each time I feel stressed or under pressure or I realize that I've gone into emotional dysregulation or hypovigilance, I'm going to sit down with this app and work it through. Now, does it replace a therapist or a trauma coach or whoever? Yes and no. No, because we need that personal safe relationship. The trauma happened in relationship, in a negative relationship, obviously. So we still need that human contact, okay? I've experimented with that side of things and having someone just to even sit and listen does change the energy and the dynamics and how we look at things. However, this app is just amazing. I... I'm in love with it, to be honest. I didn't think that anything like this was possible. And I'll just pull up this other one. Okay, so <laughs> here are some of the different things that it does. 
So you can have conversations. It does track your mood. So think about this. It tracks your mood. So how good is that when you go back to your therapist and you're able to sit there and reflect and look what's happening? You can work out the times that it makes when you are happy because you do a daily check-in. I haven't gone in and looked in at, at this side of things. But one thing I did notice yesterday was that you're able to go in and work out your personality type based on a Myers-Briggs model, which is really important because it gives you information about you personally. And that helps with insights. We build strength within ourselves. We go, oh, yeah, that's who I am. I know. And it also gives you information about the different mental health challenges that you face. And also, it stores your conversations for you. So what you are able to do, actually, I don't know if it will show on here, but let's have a look and see if it will. Just bring up the app. You probably won't be able to see the conversation, but what I found it was doing, and it doesn't send this information anywhere unless you give agreement to it. So that's a good thing. Insights. Okay, now what it does, um, try and get you so you can see it. These are conversations that I have with the app and it stores the tough moments and how you process it, what you went through, so that you can look back and self-reflect and you can also have that information ready for therapy because one of the main things that happens for us in recovery, well, as we're going through it anyhow, we have no memory. So you could end up sitting at a therapist going, oh, yeah, I have no idea what happened throughout the past week. But on this app, because you can pull up your conversations, you can begin to identify, oh, that happened that day, this is what happened, etc., etc., And it gives you all the background that you need in order that you can work with your therapist or coach to gain strategies in real life as well, okay? So I want to recommend that you download it, have a go, get back to me and tell me what you think, and I can guarantee that it really is worth it. And I will be using it every day, and every single day that I find that I you know, if my emotions dysregulated, I'm going to go, right, what's going on? Let's sit down and work it through because having the logic there is priceless. It absolutely is because we were never modelled it. We, were never, we never got to experience it. And so it's one of the ways that we have to reparent ourselves as adults. Okay, thanks for joining me today. And as my exam is tomorrow, I will be back on Friday and I'll see you then. Remember, we're the turtles. We win the race. We take it slow, but we win the race. <laughs> Blessings and dreams and thanks for joining in today. Bye for now.